Today is a stunning day over here in Treasure Key. Let me show you. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. And it's the day after Easter, early April. And this time of year, it's still, the weather over here is still pretty unpredictable. You know, you have these fronts that come through and it'll blow for a week straight. Then you have a couple nice days like this where it's flat and then it starts blowing again. It's not like the summer where it's nice every day. And so you have to take full advantage of the nice days when you get them. And so, because it's so nice, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some, take the CV out that a client's letting me use and get some drone videos and pictures for that client of his new boat. Just, you know, I think he'll enjoy that. And then I think Melly and I, she's here and alive. I think we're gonna go to uh, Green Turtle for lunch and then lately the billfish in the Bahamas. Oh you know, yes, we might see the sea turtles. The bill fishing in the Bahamas has been off the charts lately. Boats are catching grand slams every day. A boat the other day got a blue, a white, a sailfish, and a long-billed spearfish in a day. And so I think this afternoon, me and a couple of my buddies, we're gonna go take the CV out and see if we can't try our hand at a couple billfish um, because the weather's perfect and we wanna do everything we can um, in this weather window. And so we're gonna get out there by Don't Rock right now, get the drone up and Get some videos of that CV, so I'm excited. It's going to be a beautiful day. On the CV now and headed out of the canal, you know, to get out to where we're going to do the pictures. And today is stunning. Makes me excited for what's to come. I'm really hoping that the water is not too mixed up because we had a week of when it was blowing before this two day little break in the wind that we had. The water was really mixed up and really milky and everything. And so I'm hoping with two days of calmness, that's had time to settle out. And you know, we'll be able to get some nice pictures and videos of the boat where you can see straight to the bottom. But we're gonna find out here in a second. finished the drone shoot I'm putting some of the videos up on the screen now so y'all can see just how pretty of a boat this is for one but also how nice of a day is it how is it out here oh I don't think she appreciated my 45 minute long photo here. yeah <laughs> that's a no um, but yeah I'm stoked I'm really excited to see how those pictures and videos came out like I said I put y'all are gonna see the video in this video but I put some of the pictures on the screen now um, you know, I think what I'm going to do, I might blow one up and get it printed on a canvas as a gift to my client. And so, um, yeah, just a little, you know, I think I'll appreciate it. So we're going to get in, get a workout in, and then head it over to Green Turtle for lunch before we head out fishing for the day. Running the shallows around the Abacos and around treasure like this, it is definitely one of my favorite things to do. But I say it every video, I'm not going to harp on it too much. Please do not do this if you do not know the area. You will mess up your boat and I will not be responsible for any of that. I've talked about in the videos before how uh, Flo, Cafe La Florence, um, has amazing cinnamon rolls here on the island, but do not sleep on the breakfast sandwiches they have either. We got ham, egg, and cheese, and bacon, egg, and cheese, and they are extremely good. And they're on Bahamian bread, which is a bread, but I think it has extra sugar in it, or whatever it is, it's a little bit sweeter. 
Try the cinnamon rolls, try the breakfast sandwiches. It's green turtle time. I'm so excited to see the turtles. And you'll notice that we had the boat at a friend's house and not our dock. This is the new dock we just built. And the reasoning for that is the dock isn't quite finished yet. The wood planks are still sticking out. They have to be cut. And so it would scratch up the boat if, um, if we went to go put a boat there. But I'll give you a quick look at how it's looking. Looking absolutely awesome. I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah. It'll fit all the boats we have and more. And I've said it a couple times before, if you need dockage over here, please reach out. We have plenty of it um, that we are gonna be renting out. And then if we can't hold you there, I know plenty of people around the area that do rent dockage, so we can get you all set up. Running down Windward Beach here, and you can see that it is an absolutely stunning day today. And because we're going to Green Turtle, I typically hug the beach pretty close as I come around Sandy Point, you know, to get you know basically past whale key and to green turtle and it's always a nice ride running along the beach as i just said earlier in this video i really do enjoy running the shallow water like that look how absolutely beautiful this deep blue water is i can ride around on boats on the sea of abaco and do nothing else for the rest of my life and still be completely happy with my life. We're coming around New Plymouth here. That's New Plymouth, which is, you know, the big town settlement on Green Turtle. And just something real quick to note is you cannot hug New Plymouth too close or you will run aground. I don't know if y'all can see that right here. But there's a really big shallow area, and on a high tide, a center console could probably go over it just fine. I don't do it, I don't think it's safe. At a low tide, you will absolutely run aground and mess up your lower unit. So keep that in mind when running around this green turtle area. But as you come around New Plymouth, if you come around the point of New Plymouth and go in there, that's how you get to the New Plymouth City Docks. The next opening over here is called Black Sound. That's where like the, the shipyards and stuff are here at Green Turtle. And then the last opening here, that's the last opening, that's called White Sound. That's where the marinas are. That's where the bluff house is, the Green Turtle Club and all that. And the entrance to it is extremely well marked, well channeled, so it's not hard to navigate. Just keep it between the buoys, between the navigational beacons, and you're gonna be a-okay. I'm gonna give y'all a shot running in here to show you what it's like. And something that I want to note too is when you're coming around this channel here, a lot of people continue running pretty much all the way up in there. Please, please do not be that guy and don't do that. These houses here do not appreciate the wake and a lot of time they'll have boats tied up on these docks out here and the wake just beats up the boats. Even if there's not a boat there, it beats up the dock, it beats up the shoreline. Um, it's don't be that guy. Be respectful of the houses and then slow down and idle your way into the harbor. Enjoy the sights and the sounds that Green Turtle has to offer. That is the Bluff House in the distance there. And that is, in my opinion, the second most popular marina on Green Turtle behind the Green Turtle Club. And I usually stay there for about a week a year for a tournament I fish out of there. And it's a really, really nice marina. They have a good restaurant, a good bar, and I recommend it to anyone. And this is the Green Turtle Club Marina, and this is definitely the more popular marina on the island in my opinion, and it is an awesome marina, and the Green Turtle Club, the restaurant on the marina, is absolutely fantastic, and I've said this in other videos, I really do think it's probably one of the best restaurants in the Abacos. The atmosphere is nice, the ambiance nice, 
is nice. Just everything about it, it is a good restaurant. And that dock in front of us right there, they like you to basically bow into that dock and then tie your stern off to one of the pilings they have out. However, I, if the opportunity is there, I personally don't like doing that. I would rather go in and dock side to where that blue Boston Whaler is up there. Of course, if you do that, do not block where the ferry goes. Or if there's an open slip, I'll call the dock master and just request to be put in one of those open slips. We got her all tied up side to the dock, like I said I like to, and as we were tying up, we actually had some subscribers and fans of the channel come and say hi to us and talk to us a little bit. And I've said this before, but I really do enjoy meeting everyone, and so if you ever see us, please do come say hi and talk to us. We really enjoy meeting all of y'all. Another quick look at the CV, which I am quickly falling in love with on this trip, but walking into the restaurant, they have their iconic Green Turtle Club sign right there. A very popular picture spot if it's your first time here. You have to take a picture there. You know we had to treat ourselves to the Tipsy Turtle, which is the signature rum drink for the Green Turtle Club. And of course, eating like a three-year-old, I got myself a chicken quesadilla and an order of french fries. Just finished up our lunch at the Green Turtle Club. It was very, very so good. So yummy. Yes, I got me a, a just a chicken quesadilla with french fries because I eat like I'm a seven year old. What'd you get? <laughs> a grouper wrap. No, it was very, very good. And so now, what time is it? It is 1.40. 1 so we're gonna run back to Treasure. I'm gonna drop Mally off. She's gonna go hang out while me and some of the boys go uh, do some fishing. As I said this morning, they've been slaying the billfish, and so. We're gonna go see if we can't get the sailfish or a marlin or something. Um, and then my buddy, one of the ones coming, he actually the other day caught an 80 pound yellowfin tuna. So it'd be nice to get one of those in the boat as well, but I just wanna get a little tug on the rod, period. I don't even care what it is. It could be a barracuda for all I care. But let's get back to treasure. It is finally time to do some fishing. I got the boat tied up to my buddy Jake's house. He's made an appearance in these videos before and him and his girlfriend have actually recently started a YouTube channel of their own. It's called Party on the Rock. If you like the same boating and Bahamas content that I make, I highly recommend going and subscribing to them. We're gonna make a video together pretty soon here um, so y'all can see kind of what they do, but it's finally time to go and try to catch some fish. So we're prepping the baits and getting everything ready. What we are doing here is getting the baits ready. We're planning to pull a mix of dead bait and lures. The most of the lures being deep diving nomads or some mold crafts and some black barks. And then the live bait is gonna be circle hooked rigged ballyhoo. That's what Jake is doing here. He's doing that. He's using ringer swivels, which is actually something I personally don't know how to do very well. I'm very good at rigging ballyhoo with a standard J hook where you put it through the belly and you know put a chin weight and wire the whole nine yards. But I've actually never rigged it with a ringer swivel like this where basically you pull a swivel that has copper on it through the top of the mouth so that the, the swivel sticks out. And then on one side of the swivel, there's a small little rubber loop where you put the hook through and it makes the ballyhoo swim extremely well. It increases your hookup ratio. It allows you to effectively fish circle hooks. It's just a really good way to, to run ballyhoo and it's a skill that I really need to learn. Jake know, has, knows how to do it, so he's spearheading this endeavor. It is finally go time and this was a pretty last minute fishing trip, so our tackle is pretty basic, but we're still gonna go out there and give it our best shot. The run out to Whale Key Cut was absolutely stunning, just like the rest of today has been. We made it out into the ocean and it is really nice for us out. It's a little bit bumpy with a little bit of chop, but really nothing bad at all. What Jake is doing here is getting a spreader bar rigged up to be a surface teaser. And because this was a pretty last minute trip, and we haven't set this boat up whatsoever. We were just running that spreader bar off of another rod. That way it was easy for us to clear and it really didn't require too much skill on our part running it off the riggers or anything. 
Um, that was our surface teaser. We also put out a chain on the other side. And then for our spread, we sent a bait out way back. We had a Nomad diving down deep, and then we had a long on both of the riggers. Pretty basic spread, and again, this was a very last minute fishing trip for us that we really didn't plan for or set up for, so we were just kind of making it work however we can. So after a while of pulling our spread with no luck whatsoever, the pack of birds started to show up. And so we started to chase those around with the radar. And this time of year in the area where we're fishing, most of those bird packs are sitting over schools of skipjack and blackfin. And so we went around and tried our hand just to try to get a blackfin or two to make some sashimi. And when finding birds on the radar like this, I personally prefer to have the radar a little more blue than usual. And that's how I find birds a little better. And so there you can see the pack of birds and we're running up on them now to hopefully get us a couple blackfin. As you can see here, we clearly found the school of blackfin. What you're seeing here was happening 360 degrees all around the boat. Just hundreds of blackfin and skipjack just blowing up everywhere, eating bait. And when you're fishing for these blackfin and skipjack off of the backside of Baker's, that point there, um, these fish are eating tiny, tiny baits. And so if you want to catch them, you have to be using extremely small lures and the likes. And that was not what we had out. Everything we had was pretty big. And so we tried for quite a while with absolutely no luck. We could not get them to bite until eventually my buddy Jake, he pulled out his fly rod and put a small fly on and decided to try to get some, some of them on fly. And we were actually able to catch two of them on fly, which was really, really cool. One of them was actually caught properly, you know, fly fishing. And the other one was more so just uh, pulling the fly behind the boat, which is cheating and fly fishing, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll put a clip right now up of J Jake uh, fly fishing off the bow of the boat. Pretty cool, it was a little bit windy and rough, so it was hard to get the fly out, especially when we still had our spread in the water behind, so I couldn't stand still in the water for too long. But either way, it was super cool to get out here and get on some blackfin and skipjack on the fly. Um, we actually only ended up with skipjack. We didn't land any of the blackfin, but overall still a really cool experience. I've never caught a skipjack on the fly, so there's a first for everyone. You can see here as we drive over the school of tuna just how many fish there are. Look at the marks on the bottom sounder right now. We tried a little harder and really gave it our best shot. And as the evening went on, as we got more into those schools of blackfin, we actually saw some very nice sized yellowfin jumping on the outskirts of the, the blackfin. We just couldn't get any of them to bite. We did everything we could through everything we had at them, but that's fishing, that's how it goes sometimes. And that's especially fishing when you're fishing for these yellowfin tuna within two miles ashore. It can get a little bit hard sometimes, but that was our evening fishing. And we ran back in to bit treasure, you know, as dark was approaching. And this 340B CV absolutely tore up the run back in. It is an awesome little boat. All right, so as you can see, we went out there. We didn't catch much. I think we got two of those little skipjack. Um, saw some big fish in all those boils and feeding frenzies that y'all saw. We did see some big old yellowfin jumping with them, but they were few and far between. And, um, you know, just it didn't happen today, but we still had a ball out there. Got out there, we tried it, spent some time together. And so, Melly and I, we just went and got some pizza. Um, and yeah, that's so close to the day here. Another beautiful day in the Bahamas. A quick reminder, subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of videos, if you like boats in the Bahamas. And I will see you guys tomorrow.